Hello. explain just no, one thing if, if you don't mind the reason why i want you to go to marty's panel is to show why you're sorry for for attacking him it's not just because he wants you to dance it's to show you're sorry and i'm, I'm not not attacking you right now i'm just telling you that's why he wants you to go I, on panel I, I, want you, I want you to know the truth dude he's lying to your fucking face do you know what this dude's been doing behind your back i'm i'm yeah, well aware of what he's been doing well let me ask you this would a good friend sit there and lie to your face like he's done? Because let me tell you right now, dude, not once today have I attacked him. And the only reason why I have ever attacked him has been out of self-defense for myself and my friends and family. He came at me first. Let me tell you, dude, I didn't know who this dude was until a couple weeks ago when he came at me. When he came at me, okay, I get it. You know, you attack me, fine, whatever. Go after me. But leave my fucking friends and family out of the shit. They didn't do anything. They don't deserve it. If you got a problem with me, take it up with me. You know? Well, like, if you, if you would have left my friends and family out of the bullshit, I wouldn't have attacked him like I did. Well, but him sitting there saying that I deserve to be chemically castrated and attacked like that, bro, nah, that's, that's, that's going too far, dude. That's going way too fucking far. Well, I mean, now, I guess, that's 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 honest. really between you and I'll, him. That's not really my problem. My my problem is that you've also been threatening me via him, and that's the part I don't like, and that's the part you need to stop because I've never threatened you. Well, dude, well, dude like I said, man, when he let me put it to you this way, dude, and like I said, man, I understand where you're coming from, I do, but man to man, if you really logically, like logically, think about this, dude, like how would you feel if? you were in my position and someone was literally coming at you you didn't know who they were and they're sitting there saying all this outlandish shit and backing you into a corner and going after your friends going after your family going after the only thing that you're good at making money with to make a living for your family because you have nothing else because of the troll shit like imagine how I feel imagine how my family feels knowing that this dude is doing this shit all because he thinks that he's a badass. Dude. Well, I would have never I, tried to start a fight online in the first place. I would have never gone after someone's channel in the first place. And that's what happens when you do this stuff. Yeah, but dude, you need to understand. This guy has been bullying me, dude. Do you really think I'm just going to sit there and let somebody fucking bully me online like he that? He didn't no. do anything until you tried to get his channel taken down. I was watching his 24-7 marathon for months. He hasn't done anything to you till you went after it. I'll be honest with you, dude. It has not been me going after his channel. Friends of mine that have seen what he's done and deem it as not being okay. It's, dude, think about it this way. Put it this way, okay? Let's say that I was in his... Let's say that, you know, like, let's, let's switch the roles here. Let's say that I was in his position, right? And he was in mine. And he was, you know, hanging out with his friends and stuff. And one of his friends saw a video that they weren't okay with and they went in and reported it for whatever. They have that right, dude. And let me tell you, dude, there's one, like, it's one thing to troll somebody, you know? Like, dude, I'll be honest, dude, I used to be a troll myself, so I get it. I know how the troll game works, dude. I get it. It's one thing to troll somebody and, you know, crack jokes in the comments or whatever, blah, blah, blah. But it's a whole other thing when that person does shit like what your boy is doing, man. He's going way too fucking far, and I'm telling you this right now because I have seen this first fucking hand myself. 
as somebody that's been on YouTube since 2009, I can tell you for a fucking fact, dude, that if he does not stop, he's going to end up getting in serious fucking trouble for all the lies that he's made up about me, all the shit that could get me in serious trouble for shit I didn't even fucking do. Like, dude, I'm not doing anything to anybody, dude. If anything, I fucking sit down, I work on my music, I work on my artwork, I hang out with my friends and my family, and I fucking live stream and I try to help people, dude. I'm not out here doing all this dumb shit like he's claiming I'm doing. All that shit is made of garbage, dude. And I get it, man. I get it. You know, from one dude to another, I get it, man. That's your friend. You want to be able to protect him. And I get that, dude. I do. You know, just like when people go after my boy Jake. You don't think I don't get fucking pissed about them attacking one of my best friends? I get it, dude. I truly get it. I don't think so I've said anything right for now, dude, several minutes. You He's need just to talking. Get him to stop, like, it's ridiculous. I'm not trying to go after anybody, but if he keeps this up, dude, he's going to get in legal trouble, and it might not be for me. It might be for somebody else later down the road. And let me ask you something, man. Man, you know, just, just man to man here. Would you rather your boy stay out of jail, or would you rather be looking at your best friend behind bars knowing that he did something fucked up that could have been prevented a long fucking time ago? Well, that's really not my problem, whatever he decides to do. But, you know, what he's doing is not illegal. You're not going to get him arrested. You need to deal with this with him and not try to deal with me, okay? You've been threatening me through him, and that's the part I don't like. And since you're apparently not going to apologize for that, I don't think we have anything else to talk about. So goodbye, asshole. Dude, really? Are you serious? Yes, I am serious. And we do have something to talk about, dude. I don't know how the laws work where you're from, but for the rest of the country, dude, what he's doing with the hacking and the making of lies and the slander, that is illegal. That is a felony, dude. Hacking and slander are both felonies. Slander and is I- not a felony. Slander is a civil suit. You can't get someone arrested for slander. Actually, you can, dude. No, you, you can't. Actually, you absolutely oh, cannot. Dude, you don't get it, man. I come from a family of lawyers, dude. I no, you don't. Before. You don't have a single lawyer in your family. Actually, I do. I actually do, man. One of my cousins actually does shit like this for a living. And I can tell you for a fact. Oh, yeah, what's his name? That one, I'm not saying it because I know... Because he doesn't exist. Life. Actually, they do, but I know how your little game works, dude. I'm not stupid. You think I haven't been around the block before, dude? I have. I know your guys' the game. You guys just want me to give out names so that you guys can go after them. You I'm brought up the lawyer, them. not me. Yeah, it doesn't mean I'm going to fucking give out their name like a fucking idiot, dude. So it means nothing. I'm, let me tell you right now, dude. The shit that he's doing... So what you, basically what you're saying is that him hacking and going after me and spreading lies about me is legal. Yes. That's what... Well, that's where you're wrong, dude. Where, well, let me ask this. Who told you that this shit's legal? Who told you it's illegal? No, I, w- I want to know who told you that it's legal. Who told you it's illegal? The cops haven't done anything every time you've been there. Who told you it's illegal? You're going to tell me who told you because I want to speak to that person because whoever told you, dude, they're full of fucking shit. Okay, the whoever President of the United States told me it was legal. Yeah, I call bullshit. <laughs> I call fucking bullshit, dude. No, I talked to him okay. yesterday. Let, let me ask something, man to man. How are you going to sit there as a human being? Like, how can you sleep at night knowing that this dude is responsible for going after God knows how many people, man? I mean, wake the fuck up, dude. This guy ain't your friend. He's only the going after guy. you. He's actually a nice guy to me. Yeah, you know, you know what, dude? How long do you think it'll be? before he fucking turns around. Do you really think that when it, if it comes down to court, which I'm pretty sure it will, at this point with the shit that he's doing, which I have full evidence of showing that what he's doing is illegal, and I have full evidence of him literally saying threatening things to me and my family, which then in turn caused me to say the things that I said to him. I have that on hand, and so does my family. I have been keeping documentation of all this stuff, dude. So trust me when I say... 
if it does go to court, I will be ready for that. But I'm going to tell you this right now. Do you really think that when it comes down to it and he's on the edge of going to jail or going to prison, whichever they decide, do you really think that he's going to have your back on that fucking stand? No. You don't deserve friends like that, man. Wake the fuck up. This guy ain't your friend. The first chance he gets, man, he's going to fucking rat you out, man. I've seen it a million fucking times. He's only nice to you to cover his own fucking ass. Because he knows deep down what he's doing ain't fucking right. And it needs to stop. Because let me tell you something, dude. Until a couple weeks ago, when my friends were the ones reporting his channel for bullying me, that's when he came at me. Now, pulling out somebody like that online like he was doing to me, that is going against YouTube's terms of services. And it's called bullying, dude. It's in their terms of services. You know, now, false reporting is against terms of services, too. Do I? False reporting things is against terms of services, too. Yeah, but well, they weren't false reporting, dude. He legitimately was making videos that my friends and myself included... And everybody else involved, along with YouTube, considered bullying. He only made videos of content you've made, and he didn't even edit them unfairly. He just put videos you've made online. It doesn't matter. He still unfairly took those videos and reshared them. Do you not realize that there's a, um, like, it's actually one of the terms in there, by legal terms on YouTube, you are not allowed to restream someone else's stream without commenting because if you do that that is theft. you are then not being original you are not creating your own content at that point and believe me i did this before myself when i first started on youtube i did the same thing and let me tell you i got busted for it dude and you want to know what i got busted for resharing someone's stream from another site and very similar issue with him but the reason why he's doing it is to try to make me look bad. That's why he's doing it. Therefore, when he takes my content without commenting on it, that is not a reaction. That is not being, you know, responsible with someone's content. Like, say right now, like, let's say right now, if I were to take one of his videos and comment on it, that's fine. But when you go and steal someone's content like that, dude, that goes against their terms of service. It don't matter whether it's on their site or whether it's from another site, dude. The shit he's doing needs to fucking stop. And I get that people don't like me. I get that. And I'm fine with people not like me, dude. But all this shit that he started sitting there saying that, oh, this shit didn't start with Marty or Kendall. Yes, the fuck it did. And I explained all this shit to him a million fucking times. And I even have the proof to back up that the whole thing with Candle and Marty and the whole title shit, all that shit started with Candle, which is where Marty got the idea to make me look like a pedophile. I can easily show that a million times over. But he don't want to hear it. He don't want to fucking listen to it, dude. I'm telling you right now, dude, as an honest fucking guy, as somebody that's been on YouTube, from 2009 up until now, up until a few weeks ago, I'm telling you right now, dude, the shit he's doing does go against their terms of services, man. And I don't want to see you get caught up in this. And then, like, if he wants to make content on me and react to it, that's fine. But don't be sitting there reassuring my content just to make me look like something I'm not, because then that paints me in a bad light. All right, but then that paints me in a bad light, dude, and I'm not about to let that happen. So if you can tell your boy right now, either he stops all this shit, or there will be legal action taken through YouTube. And I'm not playing around, dude, because I can't prove that what he's doing is breaking terms of service. So if he does not stop legal action through YouTube by myself and all my friends, will be taken and he will be shut down via fucking IP address, dude. I'm telling you that right now. He will be shut down by YouTube via IP address because I'll make damn sure that YouTube gets so many fucking emails that they will not be able to ignore it. And I don't want it to go that route. So you can tell your boy to either step off and just leave it alone and just let it the fuck go and let me move on with my life. 
or legal action will be taken, and I don't want it to go that route. Okay. So make your choice. All right, I'll pass and along like the message that, to him. I mean, that's all I can do. Right, and like I said, dude, I hope you can understand that I'm not trying to come at you sideways. I'm just trying to explain to you how YouTube works as someone that's been on the platform for longer than you guys have, because I don't want to see you guys get shut down. And then, like I said, if he wants to make videos of me and react to them or whatever, like take a stream or react to it, that's fine. I'm willing to do that. But I'm not going to sit there and just let him share my streams like that, because if I see that shit, just know that I will be reporting it. Okay, all right. I mean, I heard everything you said and you hung up. Okay, that was rude. That was going to be nice, but okay. Yeah, what's up? Hey, what's up, dude? Um, I just went to YouTube's website right here, and I'm actually reading this from their site right now. The first rule of copyright. Creators should only upload videos that they have made or they are authorized to use, which your friend does not have the right to use. I did not do a permission. That means they should not upload videos they did not make or use content in their videos that someone else owns the copyright to, such as music tracks, snippets of copyrighted programs, or videos made by other users without necessary authorization. Now, this is what happens if you continue to, well, if you continue to do so. If a copyright owner submits a valid DMCA complaint through our web form, we take down the video and apply a copyright strike. If the user gets three strikes in 90 days, their account along with any associated channels will be terminated. We also have tools to help creators resolve their copyright strikes including waiting for it to expire in 90 days, requesting its retraction, of submitting a counter notification. Content ID works differently. If matched between a reference file and a new upload is made, a claim made based on the preferences on the preference so to his fucking thing. Is he really calling me to read the YouTube TOS? Like, really? Are you fucking serious? Or block but will not issue a copyright strike. Therefore, what does that mean? If, unless I give him permission, he does not have permission to do what he's doing. Therefore, what he's doing does fall under their policy of copyright infringement, dude. Okay. Like I said, I'm not here, like I said, I'm not here to start shit. I'm just, you know, filling you in as, you know, one, you know, as a former YouTuber to somebody else like I said, I don't know if you're on YouTube or not, but, you know, as somebody that can, you know, kind of help guide you in the right way. Like I said, if he wants to make content on me and, like, take videos and, like, comment on it, like the thing said, and, you know, and he wants to, you know, be like, hey, you know, credit goes to this person, I'm fine with that. I'm fine with, you know, people doing reaction videos. But when you go out of your way to literally steal my content and not even comment on it or anything like hell even marty does that to an extent weirdly enough which thankfully he hasn't done lately thank god because he's actually moved on but when you go about doing that dude that does fall under copyright infringement which is what my friends have been getting him on along with the bullying stuff because ultimately dude what he's done to my mom is what he has sent to my mom, dude, is no one should be saying that at all, period, dude. And even you know that, dude. Even you know that he shouldn't be getting my family involved. Like, if he's got a problem with me, like, he should just, you know, take it up with me. Okay. All I'm saying, dude, at the end of the day, you know, I'm just trying to squash all this shit. And if you'd like me to, I can send you in an email. I can send you the actual thing so you can look at it for yourself and see what exactly is going on. Oh, there's no way you're going to get my email address. But uh, I will pass the message on to him. You know, thanks for reading those off to me. Um, you know, I, I don't know what to say, but you have his number and you can definitely call him anytime. I know he'd love to talk to you right now. So, you know, go ahead and give him a call. But I, you know, I can't do anything more for you, dude. 
Well, I guess I do, you know, and I hope you understand where I'm coming from with all this. Sure. Yeah, I hear everything you're saying. Yeah, that right there kind of tells me that, like, I'm not going to give into that, dude. Like, I'm, I, I'm listening I, to you. I heard everything you're saying, and I, I'm listening to everything you've said, and I will pass everything you want me to pass on to him. I'm in no position to talk for him. That's, you know, I mean, what do you want me to say? Right, Ryan, honestly, dude, the only thing that I want you to do, man, is try to talk him down, dude. Like, try to put a stop to this. I mean, like, I know that ultimately, at the end of the day, it's his choice. You know, and I get that. You know, you're only one person, you know, and I get that. But at the end of the day, dude, you're a friend of his. And deep down, man, you know what he's doing is wrong. Like, and I'll admit, you know, I've said shit that ain't right. He said and done shit that ain't right, you know. We're both you know, in the wrong, and, you know, if he'll fucking stop, I will sit down, and I will make a video apologizing to him, now, I won't go into detail, because, obviously, you know, Facebook and other platforms, they will get you for that shit, because, you know, yeah, but I, I understand, I, I am more than willing to, like, if he's willing to stop all this fucking bullshit, I'm willing to make a video, and I will explain to him in detail why I went at him the way I did. And like I said, I can't control what my, you know, just like you said, you can't control what he does. I can't control what my friends do. Like, my friends are the kind of people that, you know, they watch me get bullied most of my life. So when they see someone like him doing something like that, they're going to jump out and do something about it, you know, just like any normal person would. And I'll be honest, dude, my family's getting tired of it. I'm getting tired of it, dude. I'm just a regular dude like you trying to make a living, dude. That's all I'm doing. Yeah. And it's kind of hard to do that when, you know, lives are being spewed about me, garbage is being spewed about me, and stuff like that. Like, that makes it hard for me to do my job, you know? And like I said, dude, I've been doing YouTube since 2009. And I, and I get it, you know? Times change, you know, stuff like that. And... I get it, you know, like, like I said, if he wants to make videos about me and comment on those videos and stuff, you know, that's fine. If he wants to take and, you know, do reactions to my streams, fine by me, go ahead. But don't be sitting there taking my content and resharing because that does ultimately fall under copyright infringement on YouTube. And like, you know, like, and granted, you know, and I get it, you know, you can't have, you know, fans without having a few haters, you know, and I get that, you know, every, you know, every person in the world that, you know, has an end of them has haters in some way, shape, or form, and I get that, you know, and to an extent, I knew what I was getting myself into, but I did not think that someone going after my friends and family would be included in that, like, you know, I'm, that's just not something that should be going on. Yeah, I, I understand. I understand. Um, I really I really have to go, but I, I appreciate right. everything you've said, and I will try to talk to him and see what I can do for you. Okay. All right, man. Thanks. I definitely appreciate it, man. All right. Have a good day. Bye. Yeah, you too, man. Peace. Jesus Christ.